Ash Williams. This is the baddest anti hero of all time, possibly. Just watching this badass slam that chainsaw in and go to work on these deadites makes me wonder, though. I know Ash gets attention, and there are versus comics and movies and proposals and things like that, but I want to see how Ash might play out against the big boys. You know, the big time badasses of what else? The 70s, the 80s, and the 90s icons. What do you think, Ash? Groovy. This series will only continue until Ash is killed. He doesn't have to win, just survive. Let's keep it real though, Ash is just a man. If he's going to hang in there, he needs to train up. Little Dead 1 was Ash's training. It takes place in the woods, decent prep. But are you ready to take on this dude, Ash? He's a heavyweight. A serious heavyweight. Alright, Ash is used to weird shit going on in the woods. He can take it to a whole different dimension if he wants. Ash isn't impressed with space, so let's just get to this. So getting this started, let's take a look at the general weapons for Ash. Trademark, chainsaw, check. Sawed off shotgun, check. He's also pretty resourceful, so he can come up with some other things as well. He's all heart and experience. He isn't just a run-of-the-mill counselor like Jason's used to. And he's generally awesome. Now it's time for Jason. Ash has some size, but it doesn't matter. Depending on what movie, Jason takes on a lot of different sizes. Here it is, though. Weapons. Machete. But anything, really. Strengths. Immortal, maybe. Super strength. Fucking scary. Sometimes he teleports. That's a different story. Uh, another one would be he's no stranger to making the kill shot. He knows how to finish someone off. So, that being said, that's what Ash is against. Alright, let's get down to it. Ash makes it to Camp Blood by accident, let's just say. Something happened with the bridge. The car is fine. Ash knows how to start a car unlike what Jason is used to. Ash seeks refuge in a cabin for a night. Jason is stalking Ash. Ash hears a knock at the door. At first, we have an unseasoned Ash and a little naive. Bam! Here comes Jason, Ash. Ash is no Dunsky though, and he gets out there before Jason can quarter him. Ash goes back at night, opens the door again, and Jason takes Ash's hand off. Ash locks the door, goes downstairs, and gears up. This is what he's been training for in Evil Dead. Just a warm up to the real deal. Ash Williams. Jason breaks in and here we go. In the end, Ash can't kill Jason himself despite all the cunning and heart that he has. The badass chainsaw, the throwing everything but the kitchen sink at this guy just doesn't work. If Ash can battle an army with one hand and essentially beat all the deadites, he's a step above Jarvis and the rest of the counselors. In this, Ash couldn't get the kill, but he survives and moves on to another episode for now.